Hi friends, as a happy and loving couples, we have two sons. My first son, his name is Sai and he is very naughty and friendly too. This is my second son, his name is Jay. He is small but very active and cool. Both of them spend their time each other playing and doing things naughty. My son is always very active and he loves riding the bicycle when outdoors and Jay always loves playing with toys and seeing the places wherever we go and Jay always wanted to be with me that he will be happy and always be in the hands of his mom. Jay also loves to play with his father and love to all his chit chats and even when he is tired he will refresh him with his warm smile. Both Sai and Jay are a wonderful children to me that God has gifted both of them a great gift from God. Thank you God for a, such a wonderful family and yeah this is all about my family. All credits goes to my husband for encouraging and supporting me always. For the preparation of the dough, all you need is maida and salt. Mix it with water and knead it to a soft dough like this. Now your dough is ready and brush it with oil so that it doesn't go dry. Now roll your dough into a very thin circles like this. Yes, really very thin rotis. Now use the kitchen fork to prick holes in the circle so that it doesn't puffs when deep fried. Toast the circles on the tawa like flipping for one minute on each sides. When it is really cool, trim the upper and lower edges of the circles so that your samosa leaves for folding is ready. These are the individual samosa leaves and yes it's a steps for folding the samosas yes it's really easy follow these steps which I have shown in the figure and follow the steps from step 1 to 5 and for the cheese stuffing all you need is cream cheese powdered sugar and vanilla extract Mix these three with a fork so that our filling is ready for the samosas. Start frying your samosas one by one and reduce the flame to low medium so that your samosas doesn't get burnt. Flip each sides so that the samosas are well cooked. Our cheese samosas are ready. Wait, let me give it to my son so that he will review it. And now his favorite 
cheese samosa is ready for him to munch and he is really happy that happiness on his face when he was munching his favorite cheese samosa and he said it simply superb and yeah it's favorite for him too so he liked it a lot so friends if you like this recipe please try in your home if you have kids so that the kids will enjoy and always will have a larger bites